Every year, home electrical system failures result in more than 40,000 residential fires nationwide. Many of these are the result of arcing faults, often hidden in the fixed wiring of a home, typically resulting from worn or damaged insulation. Arcing faults can occur because of a physical break in a conductor or a breakdown of insulation between conductors. At temperatures in excess of 6,000 degrees centigrade, even an intermittent arcing fault can pose a serious threat of combustion. Even worse, most arcs occur where they're least likely to be observed, behind walls, for example, or in basement and attic wiring. Conventional thermal magnetic breakers aren't specifically designed to trip in the presence of arcing faults. That's because the short duration pulses associated with sputtering arcs may not unlatch thermomagnetic breakers with a conventional instantaneous trip unless significantly above the calibrated trip level. In contrast, Cutler Hammer FireGuard arc fault circuit interrupters are equipped with proprietary onboard electronics that recognize the waveform signature of arcing faults and trip in their presence. Properly installed, FireGuard breakers perform double duty, providing the same reliable overcurrent protection as conventional thermal magnetic breakers, as well as enhanced protection in the presence of a line to neutral, line to ground, or neutral to ground arcing fault. As such, FireGuard breakers are an appropriate choice for any new or retrofit installation where thermal magnetic breakers would ordinarily be specified. Equally important, arc fault circuit interrupters such as the Cutler Hammer FireGuard have been mandated by the National Electric Code for use on bedroom outlet circuits for all new residential construction starting in the year 2002. Cutler Hammer arc fault circuit interrupters are available in 3 quarter inch and 1 inch 15 and 20 amp configurations for installation in any Cutler Hammer type CH or type BR load center. Fire guard breakers snap easily onto the plug-on bus bars found in Cutler Hammer load centers. Many of the one-inch devices can be retrofitted into several vintage load centers, including Westinghouse, Bryant, Challenger, and Cutler Hammer. Fire guard breakers are installed in the same manner as conventional ground fault breakers. The black circuit lead and its associated white load neutral are connected to the breaker itself. If the neutral from another circuit is connected by mistake, the breaker will trip as soon as power is restored. Next, the white pigtail neutral lead from the breaker is connected to the load center's neutral bus. Once the breaker is in place, installation can be quickly verified using the built-in breaker test switch. If the breaker remains closed after resetting, the breaker is properly installed. In a properly installed home electrical system, the Cutler Hammer FireGuard breaker will only trip in the presence of line overcurrent or arcing faults. Persistent tripping at the time of installation can indicate either a wiring problem or the presence of an arc fault on the circuit. Whatever the cause, persistent tripping of the FireGuard breaker is usually an early warning sign of potentially dangerous electrical hazards which must be corrected immediately. Do not replace the fire guard breaker with a conventional thermal magnetic breaker or ground fault breaker in order to defeat the line trip. Find the real problem and correct it. If a single circuit trips repeatedly, the installer should first recheck to ensure that the circuit line and neutral wire are properly connected to the breaker and that both wires are on the same circuit. If the correct black lead and neutral are connected, the problem may be current leakage to ground from an appliance, light fixture, or other load. The installer should unplug or switch off all loads on the circuit. If the breaker stops tripping with the loads removed, reconnect the loads one at a time to isolate the load that is faulting. If the circuit continues to trip even when all loads have been removed, replace the arc fault breaker with a comparable thermal magnetic breaker. A trip now will indicate the presence of an overload or short circuit condition on that circuit, which must be isolated and cleared. If the thermomagnetic breaker doesn't trip, there is either a false ground, shared neutral, or arcing fault condition on that circuit, which must be corrected. Use the appropriate test device to determine the location of false grounds. If a false ground is registered at the outlet, remove the cover plate and check to see if the ground wire is in contact with the neutral screw. 
If this is the case, break contact and retest for false grounds. If the circuit is no longer tripping, reinstall the arc fault breaker and re-energize the load. If the fire guard breaker continues to trip in the absence of false grounds, selectively disconnect circuit segments upstream and downstream of each outlet to isolate an arc fault in the house wiring. Once the arc fault has been isolated, it must be physically traced and corrected. Finally, should two fire guard breakers consistently trip in tandem, the installer should immediately check any three-way lighting switches on the circuit. In older homes especially, neutral wires from two circuits may be bundled together and crossed. The installer should separate the neutral sets and wire nut them individually. Once the neutrals have been separated, repower the circuit and test the breakers. Reliable, versatile, and easy to install, FireGuard arc fault circuit interrupters from Cutler Hammer add a new dimension of safety, security, and performance to residential electrical systems, including a soon-to-be-available arc fault ground fault combination and a two-pole AFCI shared neutral for three-wire home run applications. Whatever the application, new or retrofit, peace of mind today or automatic code compliance tomorrow, FireGuard is the next generation breaker of choice. Of course, fire isn't the only threat to residential power systems. Momentary power surges caused by lightning strikes or sudden spikes in delivered power can seriously damage sensitive home electronic components, motor-driven appliances, cable and telephone connections, and even the main circuit wiring itself. Conventional point-of-use surge strips provide a measure of protection for individual loads, but the Cutler Hammer CHSP Surge Protector delivers maximum protection where it counts most, at the point of entry. More than that, our CHSP unit protects telephone lines, coaxial satellite and cable television lines, and computer network connections, as well as all household AC circuits. The CHSP Surge Protector can be quickly and easily installed on any new or vintage load center, regardless of manufacturer. The CHSP Surge Protector has been designed for surface mounting or flush mounting to accommodate any load center placement. The CHSP can be mounted at the top, the sides, or the bottom of the load center as needed. In every case, the CHSP should be mounted as close as possible to the nearest 15 amp two-pole breaker. Prior to mounting, the installer should remove the first lock nut on the CHSP's barrel connector. With the main power off and the target breaker in the off position, the two phase leads, ground wire and neutral wire, can be safely pulled into the load center using the closest half-inch knockout for entry. The CHSP's barrel connector is then inserted and the lock nut re-threaded and turned until it is firmly locked against the inside wall of the load center. The CHSP is now securely mounted. Leads should be no more than 10 inches in length to ensure proper performance of the surge protector. The white neutral wire is connected to the neutral bus. The green ground wire is connected to the ground bus. The black lead is connected to one terminal of the two-pole breaker. The red lead is connected to the opposite terminal. If no two-pole breakers are installed, the leads may be connected to two 15 amp breakers on opposite phases. Up to two incoming phone lines can be protected using the CHSP. Incoming unshielded twisted pair lines must be rerouted and if necessary extended to reach the CHSP. Next, the installer should remove the protective cover at the base of the CHSP to expose the telephone connection terminal strips. The incoming wires should be connected to the incoming terminals in this manner green wire to the T1 connection, red wire to the R1 connection, black wire to the T2 connection, and yellow wire to the R2 connection. Outgoing wires are connected in the same manner to the outgoing terminal strip. Once the incoming and outgoing connections have been made, the line can be run back to the input side of the telephone distribution block. Coaxial satellite or cable TV line should be routed from the entry point and if necessary extended to reach the surge protector. The line can then be jacked into the incoming coaxial terminal on the CHSP.
The outgoing coaxial line is then jacked into the terminal marked out. If more than one line is required, the outgoing cable can be connected to a coaxial splitter. If additional coax or telephone lines require surge protection, your Cutler Hammer distributor can supply add-on modules to accommodate up to two telephone lines and one coaxial cable. And for enhanced second stage surge protection at the point of use, Cutler Hammer also offers a wide range of multiple outlet surge strips to complement the CHSP. Installation can be verified by restoring the main power and switching all breakers to the on position. If the CHSP surge protector has been properly installed, the two green indicator lights on the unit's front panel will be illuminated. If the indicator lights are not illuminated, turn off the main power and check all connections. If the indicator lights on a previously installed CHSP are dark and the connected breaker has tripped, that CHSP has responded to a line surge and should be replaced. For today's home electrical systems, nothing offers comprehensive AC, coax, and telco line surge protection like the Cutler Hammer CHSP. In concert with the FireGuard arc fault circuit interrupter, it's your best line of defense against voltage surges, arc faults, and most other common threats to the integrity and safety of residential electrical systems.